heading out to take Eden to the vet. She got a tick bite which gave her a blood parasite about a month ago now, maybe a bit longer, but she's just been on tablets, antibiotics since then. And we need to go and get her her final blood check done to check and see if she's all okay. So that's what we're doing now. Going back to the vet, Aiden. I'm ready to see Dr. Dog. Aww. She's got a couple more days left of her antibiotics, but because we are going away, we are pushing the appointment forward by a couple of days to get it checked out before we go, so we know the situation. Hopefully she'll be in the clear and won't need any more tablets, but we'll see. What do you think? How do you feel, Eden? You feel okay? You feel better? She started getting a bit tired and was acting a bit weak for a few days. So we took her to a vet and it just so happened to be right near our new place. They're pretty good in there and they told us that she's got this parasite. So and this is the third time now that she's had this parasite since we've been in Thailand. So hopefully she won't get it again after this because that's crazy. There's Dr. Dog. Telling Chan Animal Hospital. Eden has always been a very well behaved dog in the vets. She never makes a fuss and runs around like crazy like other dogs do. <laughs> How well behaved you are. makes me sad to see Eden on a vet table. Just having a blood taken now. This blood parasite that she's got, or that she's had before, is potentially deadly, so you can't mess about with it. If your dog starts acting funny after they've had a tick bite, just take it straight to the vet because it's very time sensitive. It should be okay. It's okay everybody, my blood test results are quite good. I think I should be okay in one more week. I just need to take a few more pills. <laughs> Last time we came, Eden's platelet count was 12 and it's supposed to be over 200. This time it was 196, so she's almost there, but he's given us one more week of medication. But we don't have to come back for her final blood check until after we come back, so one more week of tablets, Eden. Then you should be all better. So Eden's bill for this particular visit for medical supplies, doctor fee, a blood count test and her oral medicine was 2,399 baht. Now I have to admit, this vet is pretty good but the prices here are much higher than what we used to pay in Chiang Mai and in Chiang Rai. There's definitely a difference in price. The first two times Eden has had this problem, I think her total treatment came to about 3,000 or 4,000 baht. But this time round, the treatment has taken much longer and it's probably cost over 10,000. So there's a big price difference in medication in Bangkok, it seems. Yeah. Definitely. We're back at home. Sasha's sorting out Eden's medication for the next couple of weeks. We went out and bought some super frontline tick protection. I think um, whenever even when we do cost of living posts and stuff about how much it costs to live in Thailand, you leave out stuff like this, but it all adds up. I mean, in total with the front line and the pills, that's gone probably about 15,000 bahts worth of Eden bills. Don't forget to budget if you have a dog or if you have a child or anything like that, your expenses are gonna be higher out here. Hopefully it's not a monthly occurrence. Yes, hopefully you haven't got that many ticks to deal with. Eden has been frontlined, which means I'm not allowed to touch her. I always do this. 
I forget and then I go, oh, <laughs> lined up. You're too irresistible, Eden. Should you take your little plaster off now? You don't need this one anymore, do you? Where's the end? We just need to go to the shop and get Aiden's supplies and food for when she's away. Some oil for the car for the long journey. And then get ready to go to Chiang Mai tomorrow. We think we're leaving tomorrow, but we're not entirely sure yet. We'll know later. Taking out the rubbish. Get the beef and vegetable one. I'll get three dentist sticks. Yeah. Nice. I think if I'm being honest, I have found living in Bangkok to be slightly more difficult than Chiang Mai. I used to be able to get my engine oil from the supermarket and I felt like there was like a closer proximity of people that spoke English. It's just too big here. I found it more difficult to live here than I have up north. I think the reason why that is, is just it's harder to find things here because it's such a big city. Everything seems so spread apart and difficult. Also, mechanics. I have not found one good mechanic out here. There's just not enough information on the internet about Bangkok mechanics out here. So we've had to do without them. Sorry old car, you have to get your oil from somewhere else. <laughs> Nothing in Big C. Big C did not have it. We are back home and we've just had lunch. I'm just sending an email to somebody because we're going to be meeting up with some people in Chiang Mai to do a bit of filming. Last night I stayed up late and did some work for a client, edited a boating video for a company we've worked for before. So hopefully that will all pan out nicely and we'll get a little bit of income from it so it can pay for this big trip we're going on. Sasha's just repacking the case and I'm just sending some emails, so. Is that a coffee I smell? Yeah. Sasha looks like she's making a coffee for me. Nice of her. It is usually my responsibility to make sure we have all the right camera equipment for our trips. Things have changed a lot recently because we don't carry everything, because a lot of it is done in this small little camera now. But because we're going to be doing some other stuff and we're doing some bigger journeys I'm going to see what we need and what we don't need because we don't want to travel too heavy I know for a fact that I need to take my big laptop Sasha needs to take her laptop if we're going to be doing vlogs, daily vlogs but I'm not sure if we're going to need all our big heavy kit it's funny how heavy this stuff feels now compared to the technology that there is nowadays but sometimes you need the big stuff Oh, coffees have just arrived Smells rather nice. So after this, what's the plan? What do you mean? Literally after this coffee? Yeah. I need to pack the case and cook dinner. Just packing and cooking and preparing and for cooking, tomorrow. And that's about it. Okay. Eden needs a bath before we go as well, oh, so yeah. that has to happen at some point between now and tomorrow morning. Yeah. Right, this, I'm not sure. Let's get preparing. We've booked multiple flights, so I'm just trying to get all the web check-ins sorted out. Sash, before I click continue, I need to confirm that you don't have any radioactive material. No. No, and no asbestos or dry ice. No. No, we're, we're good to go. <laughs> Sash is getting a bit stressed out over there because the bags are building. This is what I do when I pack. I just stand and stare at it and like, I don't know what to do. Yes. Don't think about it too much. I've downloaded a PDF too. And we are packed. Finally got the bag all packed up. Had to change bags because the other bag was too small. So we've gone with our old trusty backpack. Joe's just finishing up the edit for the boat job to try and get that done before we go. Do you reckon you can? Yeah, Cool. And I'm gonna go and put some dinner on. We're gonna have some chicken and eggs and rice. Um, nice and simple and easy. 
And I think that's about it from us today. We're not gonna do much else, try and get an early night. We are gonna try and leave about 7 a.m. tomorrow, so hopefully we can get everything done for our early start drive up to Chiang Mai. Hope you enjoyed today. We didn't do an awful lot, but just general things and all the hectic mayhem before you go on a trip that happens, that happened. So give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to like and share and comment and that's it. <laughs> we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Alright, I'm gonna go and get the chicken. Chicken again. Yeah. For dinner. I think that's everything. Anything else? Uh we've got herbs? Yeah. yeah and that's all we need. <laughs> chicken herbs. <laughs> what else do you need? I'm getting yeah. a little bag of food for breakfast. It's good that Tesco's is literally right there. Yeah, I know. Otherwise, you'd have to drive to Big C. What do you think about this, Eden? Well, we're okay. Okay. Right, see you in a minute. See you in a minute.